Todd Schober is here with us right now, President and CEO of Berkeley Varitronic System. And I know that you're from a touch in New Jersey, my home state. Scott, you have to first explain to us what your company does. Sure. Well, we've been in business for 38 years. We're a private company, family owned. And your dad we, started it. Yes, my father started second generation here. And uh, we design security tools, usually with a wireless niche. And I brought a couple of them here with me. Okay. This guy here is called our, our watch hound. It's a okay. cell monitor. And you fixate it at the entrance of a facility. Say so you want to secure a facility, a federal building or a correctional facility, where there's a huge problem, the smuggling of contraband cell phones. It's, it's getting out of proportion. They're smuggling phones in by all different means, usually the corruption of a, a corrections officer, maybe a visitor. And then once it gets into the inmate's hands, which they'll pay 500 to say $1,000 for a smuggled in phone. Whoa. The, yeah, the gang activity, uh, all kinds of criminal activity, smuggling in drugs, or even witness intimidation. So it, it's a hot topic, uh, certainly within the correctional field. And this tool allows you to actually um, detect cell phones before they actually get into the prisons and stop the problem of contraband. That's really cool. Okay, so y y this is, most of your products are in prisons and institutions? I I exactly. Any, anywhere you need to secure, have a secure facility, it could be a federal facility, say a government facility, DOD, or whatever the case may be, uh, where they don't want to get phones in. Could even be a conference room. Say you have a conference room that has to be secure, and uh, we've even done certain things like this, everyday items, such as a, a water bottle. You go into a conference room, it's supposed to be secure, no cell phones allowed. And what we've done is we've embedded in here a cell phone detector. So that way, if there's any compromise in the security, you're simply sitting there at the meeting, and it just simply vibrates. And you know that there's a cell phone that was brought in improperly into the, the meeting. That's so MacGyver-like. I love it. So that someone would keep in, as opposed to putting the thing on the wall and making it very obvious, you would just have it in the meeting and yeah. then say... Yeah, very covert and kind of stealthy, so nobody knows what's going on. And why, um, why the need to have mobile phone detection? I mean, everyone has phones these days. Everybody has phones, but if you think about it, there's a lot of environments that you can't bring your phone in. Have you ever gone to a court? They don't want you bringing the phones in anymore. A lot of secure corporations do not want to have mobile phones in their conference room. People take pictures, people could listen into the, the conversations, and that's very dangerous. It's, it's, a, it's a, a compromise of security, so they do not want to have phones, and it's hard to enforce that. Phones are getting smaller and smaller, you could fit it in your pocket, yeah. so you could smuggle them in in a lot of different ways. So we use tools and techniques to, to, to be a little bit more covert and to find these things. But your family's been in business for 38 years. As we mentioned, yes. your dad started this. Back then he was doing this? No, really in the, in the mid-80s is where the wireless boom started. And we started developing, designing test equipment for the build-out of all the cellular networks. And our equipment is used to measure how well signals propagate. And that makes your phone and my phone work and work more efficiently as more and more phones are used around the globe. So that was really kind of the genesis of the test equipment back in the mid-80s that we built out. So what did you originally start doing? Oh. Like what was the company created to do? W way back then, all kinds of unique designs. Uh, customers have come to us, uh, even the major television networks, to, to see what commercials people are watching on TV. So we'll design some unique systems and algorithms to determine what somebody's watching without them actually knowing it. Are you still doing things like that? Or are you strictly sure. doing this? Oh, no. This is a hot uh, area right now for us in the security because of all, all the problems, especially right, with right, terrorism right. and things. The website is up right now, actually. So I know China is also, also very involved in this. How are you competing? You know, you, yeah, good point. Little guy from Jersey competing with China. Sure. Well, what we do do is we design and manufacture all of our equipment in Metuchen, New Jersey. Excellent. Everything's made in the USA. We don't outsource to China, to India, or any of these other things. It also protects our, our intellectual property. They can't rip it off and copy the design, so it, it preserves the product and allows us to sell abroad. 